Hello there. This is Peter Malloy and me. Who are you? Me. Oh, it's going to be one of those videos. <laughs> this is Simeon. Me. And we are uh, here. We're not in a church today. We're actually in our home. We thought because you're in your home, we would be in our home. And I hope you appreciate this nice yellow wall. <laughs> Uh, Simeon's mother said, when we moved to this house, I want a yellow kitchen. He didn't say that. And so we were under quarantine, so I got some paint and uh, uh, painted very it yellow. Like a, wasn't it people in the parish gave us some paint? Well, they went and got it for us. They were very kind. All right. So that's why our wall is nice and yellow. All right. Today we are going to talk about... Not a very particular epiphany question. We're going to talk about um, scripture, and we're going to talk about how we hear the stories of scripture. And you'll remember that epiphany is about the glory of God being manifest. In, in some of the stories in epiphany, there, we're told that there are signs of God's glory. And one of the ways that we see the glory of God is by reading the stories of scripture. And there's all kinds of Bibles. Um, this is one that you you might uh, see from time to time, uh, fairly straightforward, nice like that. And then this is the one, Simeon and I read uh, a Bible story most nights, and this one we're doing is called the Action Bible. And this one... Did we get that in Canada? We did get that in Canada, that's right. All right, and uh, we've been sort of going through the different Bibles, and if your parents need help selecting a Bible for you guys, let me know, because we've had different ones from ones that are very, very simple drawings to these ones, and this one, I'm not sure if you can tell, this is uh, David and Goliath. And you, you read something interesting about the guy who, who draws these pictures. What did, what did uh, he... he... He was both in DC and Marvel. So if you're a comics fan, the guy who, who uh, sketched the drawings for this, he did, uh, you know, DC would be like Superman and Batman, mm -hmm. and Marvel is... Ultron or Ultron something. and, and uh, the Avengers. There, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So we read the stories of, of this each night, and... I asked Simeon just before we started what one of his favorite was, and he likes David and Goliath. And again, you can see from this picture how kind of lovely it is. These, these nice big pictures. Uh, we see, I saw a really good picture on the page before where David is fighting a lion. Very good stuff. Anyway, but the, what I would want to talk to you about today is Again, we have not, unless you hang out by the fence when I pick up Simeon back when school was on, then we probably haven't met with a lot of you. Some of you over at St. Mark's I know through church and that sort of thing. And, um, but hopefully as time goes on, when we do the stories at school and the assemblies, there will be a lot more back and forth. But right now it's just me telling you stuff with the help of my, my assistant here, Simeon. But that's what we want to change. Today, I am going to invite you to begin planning to tell stories. And that's why we have all these things here. So, Simeon, yeah. tell me what these different things are. Uh, chess pieces, um, some clay nativity things me and my mom made, Lego. And who are these Lego guys? Pretty much just random things I've picked up. Like, who's that one? Dobby. Dobby. Who's that one? Uh, Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Who's that one? Pikachu. Pikachu. All right. So these are different uh, little pieces, and Simeon and his mother made this nativity set. There were a couple other things in there, and there were some chess pieces. We also have, who are these guys? <laughs> Stuffies that my mom made. Yeah. Oh, Tilly. And then this one's kind of fun. I think I got him at uh, Winchester Cathedral one time, or maybe oh. Portsmouth Cathedral, I actually. Guess we'll, we should put these. Oh, you want these back? Yeah, I should probably. All right. Uh, and then if any Pokemon fans out there, who's this? Ditto. Ditto, and who's that? Uh, Venusaur. <laughs> Venusaur, and again, your mother made those. Mm -hmm. And then we have these things. What are these? Socks. I don't know why he has them here, but he has them. Well, I found this one. This one's a pair, and this one's a single. But what do these things all... Oh, and we also have these. What are these? Books. Be books. Yeah, we just have some books. We have all these things, but do you know what we could do with these things if we wanted to? 
Anything, really. Anything. So what I want to invite you to do is to gather up stuff that you have like this, and I want you to begin telling me the Bible stories. And so what we're going to do is you work with your mom and dad to get your mom and dad's permission. And what I would like you to do is figure out a way that you like to tell Bible stories. Maybe it's using pieces like this. Maybe it is... What's this now? Uh, a puppet except... Um, uh, this is weird. Yeah, it's, it's a puppet. It's a sock puppet. And you could use, even use stuffies and this sort of thing. And I want, or some of you are very clever drawers. Drawers? 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 Uh, and so what I'd like you to do, if you're a good drawer, is maybe you could make a simple book like this and, and tell the story over a couple of pages. I'm not exactly sure that's a simple book. Well, this one's not simple. <laughs> but what you could do is tell the story over a couple of pages and then read the story and, and tell it that way. So what I'd like to invite you to do is work with your mom and dad and figure out a way to tell a Bible story in using figures that you have around the house. Uh, you know, right now these are figures, these are books, but you know, for instance, now this could be a house or this could be a hill or, you know, these sorts of things. And sometimes you have to mix. So, for instance, in, in the story that Simeon likes, uh, David and Goliath, there are all these guys are pretty much the same size. Other, Gim th other than this fat one. Yeah, Gim Gimli's sort of probably the one that looks most like Goliath, but he's about the same size as, as, as Dobby. In fact, a little bit smaller. So you can kind of mix and match. You can have Dobby against this. Let me put it away you can see against this uh, knight from our chest set. Uh, no, this is a knight that's a rock. Sorry. <laughs> and you can tell the story. So, I'm going to put some instructions in the um, uh, description underneath the video about how you can get in touch with me. The couple of things that I want you to do, just as little kind of rules for doing things, because we always have to have a few rules. Number one, get your parents' permission to do it. Number two, be really nice to your parents. <laughs> Number three, I want you to send me or have your parents send me an email uh, and I'll put my email address underneath there as well and have them contact me so we can decide what Bible story you're going to do. Because what I'm hoping is we can have lots of these and then rather than everyone telling David and Goliath, we can have one tell David and Goliath, we can have one of Jesus uh, with his disciples, you know, in a boat, we can have uh, the story of, of uh, Adam and Eve, we can have the story of Jonah and the whale, all these sorts of things. But we kind of want to spread them out a little bit. Whichever one I just opened up to. Yeah, we can have all kinds of... So, so that's number three. It was get your parents' permission, be nice to your parents, have them contact me so we can make sure that we're not duplicating stories. Number four, what we want to do with these is, even though it's nice to see Simeon's handsome face each week, we don't want to see your handsome face each week, or pretty face. Uh, 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 it's a internet thing, whatever it is. So you can use um, uh, your figures like this and move them around and we can see your hands and that sort of thing. But we're, we're gonna keep kind of our, our identities um, uh, uh, down that way. And is there a fifth rule? Oh, I remember the fifth rule. You're fine to have Dobby play uh, David. And actually Dobby's a great figure to play David and David and Goliath. Or you're, ha you're fine to have like a Star Wars. Do we have any Star Wars guys here? That's Star Mark. Wars. This is Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. You're happy to have a Star Wars guy here. Or is this, what's this guy? I just randomly put them together. Okay. So this guy's got some laser guns. You can use whatever characters you want. But we want the Bible stories to be kind of realistic. So if you're using Darth Vader to play, um, um, who's this guy? That's a rook. Yeah, a rook. If you're using Darth Vader to play Goliath, go for it. But we don't want to see, you know, lightsaber battles and that sort of thing. We want them to be kind of realistic stories of the Bible, okay? So those are, those are the kind of ground rules. 
And if at the end of the story, because oftentimes when we tell stories, we, we try and, and, and say what they're kind of about. And you might be able to do that, and you might be comfortable doing that, but you might not be, and that's fine too. All right? So, so and, then call, and then through the email with your parents, we'll figure out how to upload it, and then you can share it, and, and the kids at the various schools, this is for any child who lives in the parish or who attends one of the parish schools, St. Mark's or uh, what's the other school? St. Mark's. Uh... Buxted. Buxted, that's one you go to. Okay, stop poking. This is any, basically anyone who kind of is a part of this uh, parish, either through uh, geography or through the school, you're welcome to do it, and we'd love to have it. And that way we'll post them all on our parish YouTube channel, which is where you're seeing this now, and then we'll get to see each other's uh, things. And I think it's going to be great. So I'm really looking forward to it. So Sim, Walk us quickly through the story of David and Goliath. And do you want to do it with these guys, or do you want to do it with this? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Jess, I'm just doing it by the pictures, and I'm just describing. Yeah. Jesse was asking David to bring food to his brothers. Where were his brothers? In war against the Philistines. Okay. Uh, so he brought it over to camp mm -hmm. and saw Goliath. Ooh. Goliath said that 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 you keep going. You keep going. That they should choose one man, and he should choose one. And again, and the Philistines would choose one. Oh, so and who who did the Israelites put forward? No one. Why not? No one who was brave enough to defeat Goliath. Oh, yeah. And it, over here, there's a picture. And uh, David asked who that Philistine was. And I'm just going to read the, this off. A soldier said, that's Goliath. The king said that whoever defeats him will receive great wealth, Saul's own daughter, and best of all, he'll never pay taxes again. No but, taxes. Keep going. But no one cares. I became a priest so that I never earn enough to pay taxes. It's awesome. Keep going. No one dares to face Goliath. All right. All right. So, so none of the none of the Israelites wanted to face the Philistines because he's a giant. Because yeah, he was a giant. All right. So what happened? David comes along and he brings lunch to his brothers. His brother here looking rather amphibious, I think we call that. Okay. And he goes to see King Saul, played by Pikachu. Uh, okay, I'm just saying. Uh -huh. uh, Eliab, David. David okay, no, we're going to summarize it. David Saul, the br brother, asked him why he was there. And um, he said that his father sent him to. To give you food. Mm -hmm. and, All right, and so then David went and saw Saul and said, "What did he tell Saul?" He told Saul that he would fight Goliath. Okay, and Saul then said, was pretty pleased with that, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. And what did Saul give him? His armor. Oh boy, that's going to be a good fit. But David. But uh, David did not w want the armor. All he How come? Because it was too heavy and too big for him. That's right. So what did David do? He, he took... Uh, I don't know how many stones he took, but he took some stones for a sling. Yes. And, uh, and Goliath came to attack David, but then D D David swallowed his sling and hit Goliath in the forehead and killed him. Boom. All right. So this is a very simple story. We didn't even practice it. I think you're going to do a much better job. And Tim, tell us the basic gist of this story. What, what does it mean? What, what, does this, what truth about God and us does this story tell us? It's not our strength that matters. It's, it's the power of the Lord. That's right. If you were to put these two up in a battle against each other, our Dobby David and our Rook Goliath, 
there is no doubt who would win. But what David knew, which the rest of his Israelite brothers and sisters and king didn't know, is that it's God's strength that matters. All right, so that's it for today. We're going to close by praying together, and we're going to pray for the NHS, and we're going to pray for those who we know to be in need. Um, but I want you guys to think about this and work on this. And again, rule two is the most important one right now. What was rule two? Rule two, be kind to your parents, especially when they're your teachers as well. All right, Sim, say the... Uh, Will you pray one of these prayers for the doctors? I think it's the Thursday one. No, no, that kind of is good because today is Thursday. Let us pray. Our God is our great healer, and the agent used more than any other is the NHS. Today, we voice our gratitude for those who serve this country in the National Health Service and pray for for that God would pr prosper of their hands, that they would all be encouraged in their, their continued work of sacrifice and care amongst us. All right, let's pray. Dear God, we pray for those who we know to be in need. And if, if any of you have people in your family you'd like to pray for, you can mention them out loud or silently this time. We pray for those who are struggling during this time, either financially due to kind of unemployment or business slowdown, or those who are struggling with their health, or those who are struggling with the, the, the stress also of having families at home uh, and not sending them to school. We pray again for the NHS and the doctors and the nurses and the technicians and all the frontline workers doing the, uh, the jabs. And we pray for those who are sick and we pray your healing hand upon them. And now let's gather our prayers into one as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Nice to be with you guys, and I look forward to hearing from your mom and dads and seeing your excellent work coming up soon. All right, God bless you. Say goodbye.